Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, it is a hot, blistering July 4th. So happy 4th of July to all my American friends and viewers out there. But I'm feeling a little bit fresh right now because I got a slight breeze from the lake and I'm underneath some shade. And this fragrance is perfect for a day such as today. Calvin Klein CK1 Reflections. This is an extremely fresh fragrance that was launched in 2023, class as a citrus aromatic. The note breakdown for this one here, top notes are gonna be lemon, ice cube, but as well ginger. The mid is gonna be tea and ice cube once again, sure. And the base is gonna be musk, but as well woody nuances. So what you're pretty much gonna get is that you are gonna get some, some very fresh tones. You are gonna get a lot of lemon. You are gonna get a little bit of the tea. The ice cube, whether that adds any kind of, well, I'm sure it does not add any like fragrant scents itself, but it makes this a very fresh, in some ways, an aquatic set type of fragrance, and it's quite musky. This fragrance does remind me of Hugo Boss Hugo Now. The reason being because that fragrance as well does have that ice cube note, and I find that with this one here, the ice cube itself, adds very much like the Hugo Boss when you're opening up the fridge, the freezer on a hot blistering day such as today, and you get that cold air against your, your hot clammy skin, that it just, it instantly cools you off and it refreshes you. That is what this fragrance is very much. This is different than the Hugo Boss though, okay? I would say that the Hugo Boss is, is more aquatic, and I believe that aquatics is a note. It's been a little while since I checked up the notes, but I love that one. This does have that freshness, does have that crispness, and I do find that there is a little bit of a sweet orange. There is that lemon aspect, but I feel like there's like a sweet mandarin orange or something sweet in this. There's not really any woods that I get, but it is a very invigorating, very energizing fragrance for a hot blistering day such as today. A lot of these fragrances, when it comes to their yearly releases, the CK1 summer releases, they, I find that they are catered more so towards the younger guys, the younger demographics out there. But if you like it at the end of the day, then you wear it. I really enjoy this one. It's just because of that extra layer of freshness, the citrus and that musky nuance. Again, it just, it feels like when you're opening up a freezer and you get that cold burst of air against your skin. It reminds me of that and it's just very invigorating. The downfall with this one is going to be that longevity. You're not going to get more than four hours. These they always suffer the same thing. It's always the longevity when it comes to people's gripe. Price tag, this ranges anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks, so just shop around for the best deal. I ended up getting mine off of FragranceNet.com. I tend to use FragranceNet and Perfuma Online the most when it comes to these, but just shop around for the best deal. You might be able to get this at Ross, TJ Maxx. I really wouldn't be surprised. And guys, that's pretty much it when it comes to the Calvin Klein CK1 Reflections. Overall, I think it's one of the better releases when it comes to this lineup. There's a few that I, I'm really digging. I got a few flankers, but this one and I would have to say the CK1 Summer 2016 are phenomenal. There's one other one, uh, Summer Days. Summer Days is actually quite nice too, but I would say that this is better than Summer Days. All right, so any other videos that I've done from this brand, they will all be in the description box below. If you like my review, please leave me one of these. It does show YouTube and the algorithms that you like this type of content. And what videos to watch next? Well, because of this is pretty much a high heat banger, if you wanna see a high heat banger list, check out right here and for a summer review right here. So I thank you for the time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching everybody.